today's video, I'm going to take you step by step and compare Bobcat skid loader with the New Holland skid loader. I'm going to go over the pros and cons of each machine. That way you can decide which one is best for your company. I'm selling two of my skid loaders. What I want to do today is to walk you through. I know some of you guys out there are probably in the market at some point to buy a skid loader. And uh, I run New Holland and Bobcat, and I'm selling my two New Hollands, and I want to tell you the good and the bad about these machines. So when you're in the market for your own machine, you can take this into consideration. The, the two machines that I'm selling are New Holland L and an LS180. And um, what I want to talk, talk to you about with these machines is these machines are powerhouses when it comes to moving dirt. That's one of the good things. The hydraulics on them are fast and responsive. They, they surpass every other machine on the market. But the bad thing about these machines I want to point out is you see this boom configuration right here? This boom configuration does not allow for easy access for maintenance. So let's say your battery, your battery sits down right about there inside the machine. Let's say your battery goes dead on this thing. Guess what? You are now either crawling over the top of this boom to get in at that battery, or you're working underneath to try to get at that battery. It's okay, another thing to take into consideration with the, these machines is where the fuel filter is placed on them. If you have freezing conditions like we have right now, and your fuel filter tends to start to freeze up and gel up on you, you've got to gain access to it. You have to actually come over here and pull this panel out and then work underneath to get at that fuel filter. Not an ideal setup. The engineers could have figured this out a little better where like on a Bobcat, you can easily just pull the back door and get at all the fuel filters, all the vital components of the engine. So that's another flaw to these machines. So the benefit is awesome power, um, just, a, just a ton of speed with the hydraulics but the mechanics of the machine aren't in an ideal setup. So let's take a look at these Bobcats real quick and let's do a comparison how we can access these machines and service them uh, compared to the New Holland brand skid loaders. Let's go over to this 185 that I have parked here. Let's say this machine breaks down. How do I get at this thing? What do I do to service it to get at the batteries? to get at the hydraulics uh, filters, or the oil filters, excuse me, and the fuel filter. I pop this door open, and boom, everything I need is right here. We've got the uh, uh, fuel filter right here. We've got the oil filter right here. We've got the engine plug-in is right here. The battery, your, your skid loader goes dead. You just hook up a set of jumper cables. You're in business. There's no crawling over any hydraulic arms. It's quick, it's easy. All the advantages and power that the New Holland has accounts for absolutely nothing when the machine is broke down and you can't service it because you can't get at the vital components of the engine. Final thought on Bobcat versus New Holland. The New Holland skid loaders tend to be more problematic than the Bobcats. The, the Bobcats just seem to, to cruise along, less mechanical failures, less issues, more uptime, less upkeep. Um, so I'm technically switching all of my machines over to the Bobcat brand. The New Hollands are great for power and speed, but I like machines that run without issues. Yeah! 